This show's gonna be the death of me, I swear to God. Housebroken, if you don't know what this show is, you're one of the lucky millions of people who aren't me. Now, I've talked about this show in the past, and I gotta say, it's an interesting show. It's a show I very much dislike, but at the same time, I'm very intrigued to what's happening. Like, a lot of the characters, I think they have a lot of good chemistry, but at the same time, their jokes are fucking ass! Housebroken team, I know you know who I am because I'm one of the only motherfuckers who actually review this fucking show! But anyway, you guys should hire me for a cameo. I'm not saying for free, I'm not saying for money, but I'm saying you guys should hire me. I mean, I could do a lot of voices. I can redo your intro, the fucking rough, 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 rough. I could hit that fucking high note like I'm Brendan Uri. Going back to the show, I've been watching season two almost every single episode. Sadly, yeah, because I'm fucking stupid. But um, anyway, I've been watching season two, and I gotta say, the first two episodes are throwaways. Housebroken plots are very, very minimalistic, and it's not necessary about the plot, it's about like, just getting jokes out. You're probably wondering why I even made this video because I don't like season two, but the last two recent episodes, five and six, actually have some merit. Episode six is probably the strongest episode in the entire show. It has pretty straightforward plot lines and some pretty good jokes, I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of a little therapist yourself, aren't you? I mean, I'm more than kind of, but... You think my real mom has <laughs> missed me? Well, Chief, I like to think of myself as your real mom. Tomato adopted. I had <laughs> fucking, no idea <laughs> fucking hate it. I fucking hate it, dude. <laughs> she may not have given birth to us, but she is our mother. Jill is a bad mother. Shut your snout. I'm just talking about Jill. So <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn it, you! This is what's keeping me interested in this show because I really think they have a lot of potential. Like, it shows, like, the voice actors really do carry so much weight and have so much charisma and make the jokes. Like, it's very, very clear this show can go somewhere. It's just they don't really write that well all, all of the time. And I'm not expecting every single episode to be an absolute banger like Tuka and Birdie, like, to be honest. But I am expecting a lot more, at least mid episodes you know what i'm saying don't have to be a tier don't have to be b tier don't even have to be c tier but a c minus i'll take that a couple good jokes sprinkled in here and there i think that's absolutely fine i think that's honestly gonna give the show a lot more long <laughs> honestly gonna give the show the most longevity it's ever gonna see because i'm gonna be completely honest season two was a complete letdown until these last two episodes I gotta say, right now you have my complete attention. You're always gonna have my attention because this is just, this is just what I do, okay? This is just my fucking YouTube channel. But yeah, I'm not wishing for your downfall, House Broken. I just want you to do better so that I can actually have an enjoyable show and see these voice actors I've never heard before just enlighten my day. How's it going, pups? It's a canine and I'm out of this bitch. So I just saw this, I'm on Housebroken's um, YouTube page or whatever like that, so you can like purchase like episodes, and why am I purchasing episodes, we're not going to talk about that, but someone else liked this video, and I commented, I'm so angry I laughed because you know I was pissed off, but um, I don't know if there's somebody else watching this and paying for this fucking show, but do not pay for this show, please for the love of God. <laughs>